We're really focused on emerging chains today. We really are, and um, we're uh, really starting to focus on getting them information as to who we are. And again, they may not be, let's say that they've got seven units and they're doing 3.5 million in purchases. They aren't at a place um, yet in their life cycle that they could, could utilize a full FSICI uh, or be a full FSICI account. But even in my, my Intellispin, which is the technology piece where we show them how to run their own reporting, we still give them a couple hours a month of professional services. I can tell you that with the people we have and as good as they are and talented and experienced, those two hours, they can go through most of their reports in those two hours. They're that good. So an up-and-coming has the opportunity, again, they get to be able to get in the game at a lot less money than it would be to be a full FSICI customers. And we do the full gamut, Bob. I've got customers that all we do is run reports, do a little analytics and send it to them, and I've got customers that have literally outsourced purchasing to us. Um, uh, Restaurants Unlimited has one person and a director in supply chain. That's it. They have 21 brands. Um, that's all they have in supply chain. We do the rest of it. Um, Black Angus has one person that, that does the administrative day-to-day -day with, did the milk truck show up? Um, we do everything else. Um, they do have somebody in creative, but we do the rest of everything for Black Angus. And I'm proud to say that I think at Restaurants Unlimited, we've uh, either been at or below COGS every single year from the previous year for the last five years and the last two years. Um, we've had Black Angus going on our third year. The last two years, we've lowered their COGS both years.